Hello students, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will learn about Roman numerals or we can say Roman numbers. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this video. We will learn about Roman symbols, rules to write Roman numerals. So let's start with the first topic which is Roman symbols. Roman number system or Roman numeral system uses seven symbols to write any numeral. First Roman symbol is I which represents one. Second Roman symbol is V which represents five. Next symbol is X which represents ten. Then L which represents fifty. Then C, which represents 100. Sixth Roman symbol is D, which represents 500. And the last Roman symbol is M, which represents 1000. So students, these are the seven symbols. Or we can say seven Roman numeral symbols. Now next topic is special features of Roman symbols. Students, in Roman numeral system, there is no symbol for zero and also there is no place value system. Now let's understand basic rules to write Roman numerals. First, let's understand rule number one. Rule one says repetition of Roman numerals means addition. For example, we just learned I represent 1. So, if we write I, I, it means 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Similarly, writing I three times means I plus I plus I or we can say 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3. Students, Let's take few more examples to understand rule 1. We learned that x represents 10. So if we write xx, it means 10 plus 10 equals to 20. In the same way, if we write x three times, it would mean 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals to 30. So this was rule number 1 which says repetition of Roman numerals means addition. Students, two points need to be considered while using this rule number one. First point is only I, X, C and M can be repeated. V, L and D cannot be repeated. It means we cannot write V, V, L, L and D, D. That is, these three symbols cannot be repeated. Now, the second point is, no symbol can be repeated more than three times. Students means we cannot write four times I or four times X. This would be wrong. Now, let's understand rule number two. Now rule number two to write Roman numeral is smaller numeral written after a larger means addition. So let's take an example. V I. V is a larger number and I is a smaller number. So it means we should add them. We know V means five and I means one. So, we will add 5 plus 1 which is equals to 6. So, this is rule number 2 which says that smaller numeral written after a larger numerals means addition. Now, let's understand rule number 3. Rule number 3 says smaller numeral written before a larger numeral means subtraction. For example, I, V. We know I means 1 and V means 5. So, I which is a smaller numeral is written before a larger numeral V. So, we will subtract them. Therefore, 5 minus 1 equals to 4. 
so i v equals to four students there are few points which need to be considered while using this rule number three first point is v l and d are never subtracted so it means we cannot write v x because it means 10 minus 5 equals to 5 and we already have a symbol for number 5 which is v so v x cannot be equal to 5 so remember v l and d are never be subtracted now let's see the second point i can be subtracted from v and x only and the last point for rule number 3 is x can be subtracted from l and c only so students this was all about rule number 3 now let's talk about rule number 4 rule number 4 says smaller numeral written between two larger numerals is always subtracted from larger numeral immediately following it let's understand this rule with the help of an example i sorry x i v in this we have a smaller numeral i between two large numerals x and v so according to rule number four we have to subtract one from five which is equals to four therefore we get 10 plus 4 equals to 14 so it means x i v equals to 14 students do practice of these four rules so that you can write any roman numeral up to 100 students i hope with the help of this video the rules of roman numerals has been clear to you if you like the video then please do not forget to press the like button